the best place to start with the Southwest unit is where we left off in 2015. And that's the axe throwing. No, I'm just kidding. But that's, that's an awesome shot. Um, I really like that. That was, uh, that was a great uh, initiative and it got a lot of people together. And we've, we've been working from that point and we've, we've kind of expanded from there. But first I should uh, introduce the Southwest unit executive. There's myself, obviously. We've got the treasurer, Jason Wakeham. And we have our recorder, Mike Stafford. And um, it's lean, but it's good, right? We have, uh, we have maximum participation from our, uh, from our unit executive. And, and we also are, are blessed with a great committee. We have an excellent hiring committee, which uh, includes uh, Conrad, HSN. He is here today. And uh, that's a stunning picture, man. I really like that. And I stole that from his technology presentation from last year. That's what having access to the technology committee portal gives us, right? Um, so uh, <laughs> as well as uh, Kat Marshall uh, and uh, as well as Jim Lumsden, who um, uh, together uh, formed the hiring committee. And they're a very professional committee. Um, they have they have uh, uh, CUSW or CUSW attire. Uh, they have cards. Um, they they meet in really uh, excellent locations like coffee shops instead of uh, you know any other place you could uh, uh, meet up. So we're really proud of them, and 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 they're they're firing on all cylinders. So uh, Conrad, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, gave me an extra slide. Uh, so where did we come from? Uh, on the 2015 convention. That's, that's a picture of me flexing. I did a front butterfly, right? Um, and uh, you can see that my, my presentation screen was a lot weaker. I got, I got better content now. So, um, but moving forward, we, we started off the concept that we wanted to get participation. So how are we gonna start getting the participation? And the, the engaged members was through social events. Um, so we, we advertised that, uh, or we, we talked uh, about uh, the axe throwing at the, before the 2015 convention, but we've since uh, moved on to other Southwest so social events, um, uh, like retirement uh, parties uh, for our retiring members. Um, and, and we've also diversified the locations, because uh, historically the Southwest unit has always met in London, Ontario at the Ramada Inn. Uh, this party was for a member out of uh, Windsor. Um, don't be mistaken, because retirement parties can get kind of crazy, right? Especially when the members hold you accountable, right? Um, and uh, but it, it, you know, really, if 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 you're if you're willing to take any question from any of the members, they can actually be very very um, uh, very light, right? They can actually be very nice, and, and I enjoy working with all of them. Uh, that's uh, Lou Bouchard, and uh, he's a great guy. So uh, moving on, we, we also have uh, team building events. And, and this is something that's kind of organically grown. Uh, this is our team uh, for Tough Mudder. We compete at St. Louis Moonstone. And uh, right now, I'm inviting every member that's participating, anybody who's participating in this convention, you're more than welcome to join our team, right? This is, this is great. This is not limited to the Southwest uh, unit. This is open to all uh, members, affiliates, uh, uh, partners, anybody can come and join us. It's a great team building event, and we have lots of fun with it. Um, as well as uh, Tough Mudder is not the only event that we do uh, that's, that's kind of like an obstacle course. Uh, we also do uh, um, another event in London. I, I forget what it's called right now. I think it's Extreme Warrior Challenge. But that's, that's also a really good event that we've had a lot of success with and participated multiple years. OK, so before I get into this, um, what we've been doing through trying to engage the members is once we get their participation, once they're interested in participating and we get to know one another, um, now we've been able to participate in our community. Um, the, the video I'm gonna show you is, is half a video that I took off YouTube and half a video that I, I actually videotaped myself from the Ontario Skills Competition. But at the end, you'll see that I had live footage of an event that happened in London, Ontario at HB Beale that I uh, had the, the opportunity to attend and, and we, had, uh, we had a blast there. But um, I'll start it now.
I spelt Ontario wrong in the ending credits. But above and beyond that, there was this. There's a, there's a cardboard boat that had this written on it. Can you guys read that? I can't read it from here. But it says teamwork, numeracy, communication, time management, and problem solving. These are characteristics that elementary school kids wrote on their boat when they were competing in, in, in organizing for this competition. I went and saw those students afterwards, and I personally, I took it on my own uh, to offer them a job, right? Because that was, that was excellent. I, to understand those concepts at that age, is, that's exactly who we're trying to engage. And that's one, an example of just one of the ways that we're engaging our communities in the Southwest. But this affects where we grow from here, because I feel like we can use examples like this of how we're operating in the community and, and engaging the community to further engage the members beyond the social aspect of, of getting together and just having some fun, but actually getting together to work in our communities. So that takes us to the Southwest Unit Project, which I was talking to earlier about earlier, and it's, it's my little project that I have going on. And, and one of the things that I've identified about um, getting, uh, getting, addressing the participation issue is um, it starts with effective communication to the membership. Right? I will effectively communicate with others. And that's kind of been my mantra, is that I'm going to try to effectively communicate with others. Um, so uh, what communication strategy uh, was, uh, was kind of in place before I got uh, involved with the Southwest Unit was a uh, new alternative medium to face-to-face -face meetings and conference calls. So that was um, Adam Harrison. Um, and it was told to me that he actually uh, started the initiative to use the WebEx online meetings to uh, increase the accessibility to the membership so that they can participate in meetings. Um, and also uh, running the online hybrid meetings. So they actually bought equipment so that they could not only have the face-to-face -face meeting, but they could have it set up so that members could join in the face-to-face -face meeting virtually, right? So that's what existed before I came, um, uh, before I, I came on the scene. Now, the, this is what I'm doing to expand on that, because oftentimes in this organization, there's been a lot of work done before, right? So you're kind of picking up in that dialectic and you're moving it forward. So how we're doing that is we're, um, we're increasing the frequency of the meetings, uh, and, and that's weekly. And that, because we went to a virtual, uh, online meeting format, we're able to meet, uh, or I'm able to, to put these out weekly, right? So I, I don't, I know that I'm, I'm not getting 50 members at each meeting, but if I get five different members at each, you know, for an hour every Wednesday of, uh, of the week, I, I'm, I'm actually addressing 20 people now, right? So uh, I think that uh, frequency, and as well as uh, making the, media, uh, the meeting agenda available in a podcast form, a lot of times I send out uh, emails and, and, and Janet's coached me on this on how to put some uh, your, your, your message in bold and make sure that you know they don't just glaze over the email. Well, I, I thought, why not put it in a podcast form? Why not uh, make it live somewhere where it's accessible to the member at any time? And then that way, maybe you'll pique their interest with, the, oh, I, I didn't know they were going to be talking about that tonight. I, I think I'm going to join in tonight because I, I have something to say about that. So also exploring new communication technology. We just got into the Zoom room this year, right? And that's, that's blown away WebEx, because I, I didn't even know how to use WebEx. Now, Zoom room, I look like a, like a computer scientist when I'm in there, just like sharing documents and just going back and forth. So it, it really, uh, really uh, not sticking to the first thing you run into communication-wise, right? Uh, exploring other different uh, applications, if you will, right? Uh, so we, we've been doing that in, in, uh, in our project. That being said, uh, that concludes uh, my report for the Southwest. So I, I appreciate um, your time. Hopefully I did better than my first presentation. And um, thanks always for your time and attention. And the adventure continues at 1510 roughly when I complete my final presentation.